going for a kiss? So good morning everyone. We are gathered here today to celebrate one of life's most important moments. We usually spend our time concerned with the routine of daily living. We wake up, feed the cats, go to work, eat lunch, and watch the Dodgers. We worry, plan, and scroll. But for a few moments every so often, we get to experience something transcendent. It leaves us breathless, fulfilled, and amazed. We no matter we, no matter how much we think of ourselves as rational, logical human beings, we have an irresistible drive to forget, forget reason and simply feel. Those are moments to be cherished. When you are in love, you get to grab a piece of transcendence and take it with you in your daily life. You don't have to trek to a redwood forest, chase a solar eclipse, or claw your way up wet granite to feel something important and indescribable. You can feel the beauty and enormity of the mountains within your own heart. And that is why we are here today. Because love is an infinity, and to take even a tiny piece into yourself and be able to experience and understand it is the greatest gift in the world. Today, we take the time to celebrate these sublime moments in our lives and to meditate on just how meaningful love is. In The Art of Marriage, Wilfred Peterson describes what such a union means. And I quote, A good marriage must be created. In the art of marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is finding room for the things of the spirit. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being Ryan and Patricia, please face each other and join both hands. Not yet, not yet. This is the idea. Ryan, do you take Patricia to be your lawfully wedded wife, to love and support her for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do you part, and to never stop her from putting up more Christmas decorations? Patricia, do you take Ryan to be your lawfully wedded husband, to love and support him for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do you part, and to never stop him from checking the weather all the time? Thank you. Charlie, may we please have the rings? These wedding rings are a symbol of your love and commitment to each other. Ryan, please place Patricia's ring on her left ring finger and repeat after me. Patricia, I give this ring. Patricia, I give this ring. As my gift to you. As my gift to you. Wear it and think of me. Wear it and think of me. And know that I love you. Know that I love you. Patricia, please place Ryan's ring finger on his left on it ring on his left ring finger and repeat after me. Ryan, I give this ring. Ryan, I give this ring. As my gift to you. As my gift to you. Wear it and think of me. Wear it and think of me. And know that I love you. And know that I love you. That's it. 
by the power vested in me and the state of California, I now pronounce you as husband and wife. You may kiss. Yeah, three! Woo! Woo. <laughs>